Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have something special, I think. And uh, it's a multimeter, it's an handheld, and it is from Keatley. Keatley, well known, American, good quality stuff. And uh, when I saw it for the first time, I knew, okay, this looks very special. And uh, it's in here, it comes in a nice brown. So let's open it and it doesn't say Keatley on the on the casing anywhere at least I have not seen but if it is specially made for this meter then it is really well done because it's a perfect fit and look at this two knobs the well-known Keatley color different colors of brown and uh, Let's have a closer look. Here it is. It's the Keatley 129. And as you can see, they made a very nice uh, cover for it. The cables are still good. And what well, they look dirty. I almost would think, especially the, that the stuff they have, I think it was used for automotive also because it has old grease. But also, you have this pin here, so you probably put this to the car ground, and then the red one, it looks like it is sort of a knife, so you just can cut through the insulation of your cable, and then you can measure, and also it's a bit, everything is a little bit greasy, with old grease, so that's why I think. And there is a label, and it says crafted with pride in the US. So this could Kidley is US, so it could be. Or it's just a lucky pick that it just fits exactly. But it does fit, and that is good. Does the hole go exactly there? Yes, it seems. Well, that is a super coincidence then. Nah, it's too much coincidence. It almost is like it uh, is specially made for it. So the 129, how does it work? Well, here you have the selector, what you want to measure, DC volts, IC volts, DC amps, AC amps, and with ohms. So if we are on the DC volts, we have 200 millivolts, 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts, even up to 1000 volts. High impedance, 20 meg, perfect. It has a lot of holes in the bottom. Um, but it's actually quite simple, uh, common, and the red one is voltage and ohms. This is the lower amp setting, and if you want to do the 10 amp setting, you pick these two, the bottom ones. So that's about it. It is uh, 2000 counts. So let's have a look. Yeah, nowadays we are very used to just have one big knob. Like here on the on the Bremen, the red fluke. Just one up to have your selection, and uh, and in that time they had sometimes two. I think there were only a few. Uh, there were uh, a few more manufacturers that also added this time with uh, two knobs. But for me, this was the first time I saw this, and that's why I was immediately interested in this meter, and I placed my bid, especially when I noticed it was Kidley. So. Uh, I have this already for a few years, but I just never uh, showed it before. So I think uh, what we need to do is just, we do a quick test and uh, then we open it. Okay, here it is. I think you can see the display. Let's switch it on. Yeah, okay, that's readable. So black in the common, red in the red one, makes sense. DC volts, 20 volts, okay, because 2 volts is too low. We have here the ADF, 
the AD584. You've seen it many times, and I like it because you can just do a quick test with two and a half volts. Well, it's a little bit low. Five volts, also a bit low. Seven and a half. Ah, it's just a bit low. Just, but also maybe we need to switch it on a little bit longer. But it is uh, close enough for this. Um, I can try also with my process calibrator. This is the LBO2. I like it because it does current and voltage. So let's do one volt. We go to a lower scale. Okay, that works. Maybe we can I do a bit more? Yes. Here is our extra digit, and as I said, it's 2000 counts or 1999. So this is probably the maximum because if I do 2.1 volts, bloop, it goes. Okay, 1999 counts. Um, we can go lower. Let's go. 100 millivolts. Then we can go to this one. 200. Okay, works. Two volts we've seen works well, a lot higher. Uh, I can go to 24 volts, I think. 11 volts uh, is the max for this one. I do have 24 volts here, but I think that is for uh, the maximum it can provide for a certain current. So we're not going to use that. Um, well here also 11 volts. Here also 11 volts. So all the settings work. What about the current? We can also do current. So let's do milliamps. 4 milliamps. I am here in the DC amps disconnection. Yeah, 4. Can we go a lot higher than 20? Yeah, that works. Okay, current works also. Let's do some resistance. I think that is also possible. Ohms, 20 ohms. Okay, but let me first zero the ohms. Do I need to do that? Can I even do that? Okay, that is good. Thirty, forty. Okay, fifteen hundred is also fractional low, but still good. It seems uh, the options work. I can try. I see, but that is just the mains then. Okay, measuring AC volts. 2 to 8. Okay, that's cool. Everything still works. Just a little bit off, so maybe we can adjust that. But uh, now I'm going to open it and uh, clean it. Okay, let's see if we can uh, open it. I did find something on the Radio Museum. I, uh, I can't share this document, but uh, if you look in the Radio Museum, you can find it. And here it says exactly how I need to open it. And I also found uh, the calibration. And it is just one pot. That's all there is. And you need to put it on uh, 190 millivolt on the 200 millivolt setting. And then you adjust it and that's it. So, uh, and I found also an option list. The, this meter was in the early 80s, like 82. And this was an option, and the soft case was an option. So I really think it uh, it belongs uh, with the Kitley. Um, the display is a bit tricky because it has zebra strips, and if you take the PCB out, it immediately falls out. Uh, nine volt battery. 
we try to take that out. Okay, here is the serial number. Here is the fuse, I think. Yeah, there is a fuse right there. You can fit a small or a big one. Depends on which clips you use, that's smart. And it really is a bit uh, dirty. So we should untie the screws. And then push the top forward. And then hopefully the display won't fall out. Because today it is working fine. So I need to open it and then push it forward. Oh yeah, well I thought there was a special trick but it just opens like that. Okay. This is the fuse. So you can pull out the fuse. Here are all the pins, the shunt for the 10 amps. I will zoom in. And here is one pot that is all to adjust it. So, but if we take the circuit board out, and maybe we can just do that. Okay, well, there are no screws anywhere. So I think we just carefully need to, yeah, that seems to be the method. Of course, I need to be careful I don't break the buttons. So I'm not sure how that goes. Oh, going off. So probably I need to bend and then, ah, okay, wow, and the display is just stuck with the zebra strip, but I will leave that in its place because that is kind of tricky always. So when it works, it works, and just clean it, and then I push it back. So, well, I will go with my uh, baby clots, and I will put it in fast forward. Okay, I'm now trying to calibrate it. It is at uh, 190 millivolts. I need to push the display, look at the screen, but also adjust the... It is 190. Let's see if it also agrees. with this one yeah the, the zebra is I need to push it because usually the case is doing that so this should be two and a two and a half volts yeah 2.5 perfect five seven point five And then okay, and here it is, all clean. Most of the time uh, cleaning I spent actually on the carrying case, but uh, I think that is also a perfect result. It is almost. Uh, become light brown instead of the dirty brown it was. 
and uh, yeah perfect the cables also they are still a little bit dark red but uh, yeah this is as good as I could clean them but it uh, is a huge difference well if you look at the meter itself it is super super bright the display again super shiny I polished out the little scratches that were there just with my brass uh, cleaner and uh, let's see how is the voltage so let's get a little calibrator we did adjust it a bit so it should have been improved I hope so DC volts 20 yes 250 2.5 5 volts 7.5 and then let's see what it does on the current milliamps okay now it is a little bit more on the current but the voltage was spot on and there is only one pot so uh, it is what it is at the moment ah. that works fine so that was it another kidly almost brand new super super nice so uh, i'm happy with the result and uh, i will put this with my collection and uh, yeah wow i didn't realize it was uh, this beautiful thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time